Hello everyone, welcome to Elevages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about parts or structure of pulmonary artery catheter or Swan Gans catheter. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. The learning objectives we will be discussing in this session will be what is pulmonary artery catheter or Swan Gans catheter? What are the indications for pulmonary artery pressure monitoring? And what are the parts of pulmonary artery catheter and its function? Let's get into the topic. Now, what is pulmonary artery catheter? The pulmonary artery catheter, commonly known as the Swan Gans catheter, is a medical device used for hemodynamic monitoring in critically ill patients. It is a thin flexible balloon tipped catheter that is inserted through a large vein, often the internal jugular or subclavian vein, and threaded into the pulmonary artery to gather real time information about blood flow and pressures. Swan Gans catheter was invented by Dr. Jeremy Swan and Dr. William Gans in 1970. What are the indications for pulmonary artery catheter? First comes hemodynamic monitoring. And this includes central venous pressure, pulmonary artery pressure, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, and cardiac output. Next is fluid management. Hemodynamic measurements such as CVP, pulmonary arterial pressure, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, and cardiac output helps to assess the function of the heart and provide insights into the fluid status, that is, fluid volume overload or volume depletion. Next indication is titrating medications. And next will be diagnosis and monitoring conditions such as heart failure, pulmonary hypertension, cardiac surgeries, and other cardiovascular disorders. Now comes structure of Swangans catheter. The typical pulmonary artery catheter is 100 to 110 centimeter long radio opaque polyvinyl chloride catheter and has either 3 or 4 lumens and 7 to 8 French in diameter. Thin black distance markers appear at 10 centimeter intervals from the tip to hub. One thin line is 10 centimeter and two thin line is 20 cm and 3 thin line is 30 cm and so on. Thick black distance markings indicate 50 cm. As shown in the picture, thick black line plus one thin line indicates 60 cm and the end in 100 cm highlights with two thick lines. Next, thermistor. Pulmonary artery catheter has a thermistor device approximately 3 to 5 cm from the tip. Thermistor measures temperature and allows calculation of cardiac output by thermodilution technique. Next is proximal port. The proximal lumen terminates at about 30 cm from the tip. Next is the distal port. The distal lumen terminates at the tip of the catheter, that is the distal port. Next is RV port infusion port. An optional third lumen called infusion port terminates at about 20 to 30 cm from the tip. Next is the balloon inflation valve with a syringe attached to it. The maximum volume is 1.5 cc of air inside the balloon. The balloon is located near the tip of the catheter. It is inflated while the catheter is positioned in a branch of the pulmonary artery. Now comes function of the multiple lumens of pulmonary artery catheter. Thermistor port. It is used for measuring temperature changes in the blood. This information is used to calculate cardiac output. Next is proximal port. This is positioned in the right atrium and it is used to measure central venous pressure. 
Central venous pressure provides information about the filling pressure of the right side of the heart. Next is the distal port. This lumen is used to measure pulmonary artery pressure. Next, right ventricle infusion or pacing port. This port is for infusion of medications and IV fluids and occasionally used for pacing the right ventricle. Next is the balloon inflation valve with a syringe attached. The maximum volume is 1.5 cc of air inside the balloon. The pulmonary artery catheter has a balloon near its distal tip. To measure the pulmonary artery width pressure, the balloon is inflated while the catheter is positioned in a branch of the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery width pressure, also known as pulmonary capillary width pressure. Now here is the picture of cross section of pulmonary artery catheter with four lumen namely distal, proximal, inflation and thermistor. This is a short video on parts of pulmonary artery catheter and we will be discussing pulmonary artery pressure monitoring in detail in our upcoming videos. So so far we have discussed what is pulmonary artery catheter or swan gans catheter, what are the indications for pulmonary artery pressure monitoring and what are the parts of pulmonary artery catheter and its functions. So here you go with parts of pulmonary artery catheter. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.